I went to that cage, I was ready to go to war, like, I don't care what happened. Fight to the end. I'm trying not to sound biased here because I have followed this young man's career and he's such a gentleman outside of the cage, such a lovely young man, but inside the cage or the ring, he's got such a hunger, Dean. I'm the best at striking, I'm the best wrestler, I'm the best grappler, I'm ready for anyone. Top yeah. 10, top 10 man, give me anyone man, anyone. Sifu, Sifu, if you could describe me in a few words. You? Yeah. Relaxed. Yeah, I'd say I'm hardworking, laid back, patient, relaxed. Like me personally, if I have a fight, I become very like antisocial. I don't really speak to too many people. Like for eight, ten weeks, I won't call family often. I won't call friends. Um, I just become kind of like in my own little zone in it, and I just kind of shut off from the world. Well, we've got fitness in, so let's start going. Leg, step back, uppercut straight. Sometimes you get frustrated, like you're not finding fights and whatnot. And I think there was a time where, a time where, I think I had like from one fight to the next, maybe like I tried to fight like ten times and nothing worked out or something. So them times you just feel like, what am I doing? Those times I wouldn't say like I was really deep into thinking like, yeah, let me call it. But it's just it would definitely. Like, it was a thought in my head, like, what am I doing this for? I'm hit, I'm a professional fighter and I'm not fighting, so what am I doing? What am I doing wasting my time? But I wouldn't say there was, that was just more like a, a flying thought, I wouldn't say something concrete. No, nah, never really. The biggest misconception about MMA is that, that we're all rich and, and we ain't rich. Um, and this is what I tell people all the time. Anyone who asks me about advice for MMA, I said, if you're going to do it, just be prepared to be broke for a long time, be prepared to sacrifice for a long time. And even then, you, it might not be worth it. And then you might not get nothing from it. Um, so if you are going to do it, make sure you do it properly. But advice from me, don't do it. <laughs> Yo, who's dirty t-shirt like that? <laughs> so what are you doing in this place? 
suffering. <laughs> uh, just get some recovery. Inshallah, soon we get a ice block there. My day off, so I'm trying to recover on a hard day yesterday. Hard After week. the 27 rounds. <laughs> I had a hard week. So yeah, just trying to study. So after a while your body once your body's just going through it, it gets run down as well, so you want to recover or get the best out of your sessions. If not, if you're just training, not resting, not recovering, it gets to a point where you're just when you're like training, you're just going through the motions, you're not even really pushing and whatnot. So yeah. yeah Need to get ready for another hard week. How long left to the fight? Six weeks. highest highs come from winning and the lowest lows come from losing and it's a single man sport as well so regardless of though you've got a team and whatnot when you lose at night you're sleeping in your bed by yourself and you're it's you and your thoughts in it so um, but that's just that's life in it you're gonna have losses you're gonna have you're gonna lose things and you're gonna have harder moments than just a loss because really what you do you lost a fight you can lose a fight in the street tomorrow and it's, you can't really be losing sleep of it for forever, you know what I mean? So I was quite close, but not too close. So it was like, mm. I was like, ah, I done it for no reason. So I still got, I got like halfway into the camp, and then it happened. Couldn't carry him training, but obviously it happens in that camp. Like, I can't do nothing. Are you, gonna, are you jumping in the next one? October, yeah, definitely, one hundred percent. Should be alright. I think once I started training in May, you kind of, you know what you're capable of, so you don't really get into, like to get into altercations, and that's just obviously like a basic one, but I think naturally you just become a more confident person. There's never really a, a situation you can put me in where I think, oh, how do I deal with this? Oh, I'm nervous for this. It's like I've done things that 99% of people would be nervous for. Look at that leg that's on his base on it. Cops, yes, yeah, that's that it. Leg. Sweeping that, nice sweeping. Get yeah, back up. I don't care. Get to the cage. Well done. Now run at the point. Move around, Ali. Move around, move around, move around. Move around. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, no rush, move. No rush. Right, 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 right. He got the winner's head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good, good. Stay on top. 
Minute left, minute left. Keep the pressure on, Louis. Get down to what I say. On to the wall, on to the wall. Like this. Not for long, man. There's only 15 minutes in there. Yeah, that's true. Been 12 weeks. Good flight here? Yeah. Uh, always like that. I fly like today. Then the, the fly will do like this. I think I will die. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I will die. What happens in here? Medicals, standard checks, blood pressure, heart rate, little waiver form, and then they let you go to war, man. <laughs> Is the Wi Fi bad here? It looks like it. Eh? Oh, two Wi Fi AEG guests. Let me try that. Do you have any medical problems? Blood pressure? Diabetes? No, no, no. Healthy. Do you take Come. any medications? Yeah, no, I have, um, I have I'm, not, I'm not listed to get in, it was Mahadi cameraman. Oh, I can't even put his proper name down. <laughs> 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 <That's time. laughs> any bleeding problems? Uh, yeah. Okay. Any recent fracture or surgery or anything no. like that? Uh, you're lucky. Thank you. What do you think? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go on. Oh, is the boys are literally at the door. Oh, oh. Oh, this is the King's Open, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sorry, come He's on top. Thanks. And I mean, we did everything like before. This time it was smooth, no injuries, nothing for Muhi. You know, he trained hard. Cut weight was nice. So yeah, I think it should be, it should be on point. So yeah, I think he's ready. He looks calm. You know, don't look nervous. He's just chilling. Just anticipation, waiting for that fight.
person of faith, regardless of what it is, a person of faith always has fights for something bigger. And you have faith in something, you're going to fight harder and you're going to fight for something else. Um, and yeah, for me, I always know that whatever happens is meant to be. So win, lose, that's it. I just do my job and come out of it, win or lose, nothing changes. Thank <laughs> you.